Radio on your left, on your left side, Yanni. Yeah. All right, now he's in front of you. Pull up and shoot him. Shoot him, Yanni. Oh. oh. He's got to be injured. Yeah, he might have a heart attack. <laughs> In this episode, I'm hunting with Max Barda, meat eater, cinematographer, and editor, who happens to be a diehard waterfowl enthusiast. I'm not a waterfowl expert by any means, so really, I'm just along for the ride. It's early December, and Max has decided that our best bet is to head over to the Central Flyway, focus on large flocks of geese, and hope that we get a few intermingled mallards. Have you ever shot a dry field mallard? Never. That's gonna be cool if we get a couple mallards for you though. I love eating those suckers. Max has been scouting the area two days prior to my arrival and has found birds. His plan is dialed and his dog Ruby is the best retriever I've ever seen. His main challenge will be getting the birds to hover in front of me long enough that I can hit them. Get him, Giannis. Oh, come on, Yanni! This is best, the best part about, like, hunting out east here. Yeah. Is this all this tumbleweed? It's like the best thing to hide in. There's more over by the field too. But this is just a good starter. We'll disappear in this. I wonder if Giannis has a shovel in his truck. What do you want to do? I'm going to dig in the snow. You see how they, this is kind of a snow drift? Can get down about eight inches or so. So we'll dig out a spot for the blinds right there. Okay. Just so you can just sit a little bit lower. Nice. Yeah. So this is where we're setting up. Yeah, this is where we're gonna set up. I already got um, snow covers on the blinds. And so we'll just grab some of the brush we did and brush it in. So, yeah, but first we gotta dig in. Traditionally, waterfalling you want wind on your back birds coming right to you right yeah just like in like deer terms you want a frontal shot kind yeah. of thing yeah but today how this field is set up we got like a kind of wind kind of quartering to us yeah so what we're gonna do is kind of have the wind coming right to left and then the geese are gonna be quartering in so we're gonna basically what waterfall calls calls it as slide side slapping so we're gonna shoot them on the side coming in and why not just set up that way it'll be closer shots if they quarter in like this oh okay. and it'd be a lot prettier too okay because if we put decoys behind us we'll just be shooting them over the top kind of thing all right so it'd be glorified passion with decoys okay so just trust me on this i'm game yeah the Central Flyway stretches from the Canadian Arctic to Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. It is home to the Prairie Pothole region, which is a major player in waterfowl reproduction. It is known as North America's Duck Factory. That's like really damn good. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Yeah, like really, really damn good. They are not gonna see us. No. I'd walk, I'd walk by you and not see you. I'll never say I'm a good duck caller, good goose caller, but I will say I'm a good hider. You're a good blind builder? Yeah, oh, that's that's my favorite part. I'll give you an A plus on this one. Well, let's set, set some decoys now. According to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, 50% of the country's waterfowl use the central flyway. Interestingly, only 20% of the U.S.'s waterfowlers live in the central flyway, but they kill 30% of the nation's annual goose harvest. Our daily limit in the Central Flyway is five geese and six ducks, of which only five can be mallards. I love geese, but I'm praying hard for those bonus mallards.
What do you think? Great. Looks like a flock of geese. Yeah. I like it. I can't believe you found us a field with a couple thousand geese. If what you're saying is true, it's probably the best goose opportunity I've ever had. Really? Yeah. This is like a couple hundred is I think what I've usually hunted and gone and set up on. Yeah, that's that's your typical like early season, mid season. But I mean it's also oh, the flocks get bigger later in the season? They just get they bunch together. Birds of a feather flock together kind of thing. Oh, they came around. Right. Oh. You're like, is it good down there? Y'all got some of that sweet corn down there? If you're feeling like it's time, let's I'm, go. I'm feeling like it's time. All right. But I don't want to, when we get out there and nothing flies, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear it. I won't say a lick. Ruby, come on. See, I knew we should have left. I knew we should have left five minutes ago. Hey, Yanni. Yeah, those are low. <laughs> those are decoy heel. Come on, let's go. I'm not too worried about the giant flocks because those are always tougher to decoy too. I'll take little flocks all day. Not going how I expected it to go. Borderline too high and just like they don't want to get down right away. They landed out oh, there right here, right, right here, right here, right <laughs> here. Shoot those, Johnny. They shooting. Oh, you're good. They're not getting away. Ruby. I'm always surprised when I shoot and they fall down, too. Eel. Ruby. <laughs> you want to take this one, guys? Shoot him. Good shot. Ruby. The first few groups follow the script but then the action goes cold. I mean, we got a lot of time. Should we just move? Uh, we could. Or is that too much? I think it would be too much. I think I just kind of screwed up with the setup, basically. I wouldn't say the wind's in our face by any means. It's cutting. Um, but I think just like, given the circumstances with the road right here, it's just too much for them to, yeah. we're asking too much from them. Um, I think it would have been a little different if we set up on that pivot which I was thinking about doing. Don't you think we could we could be reset up in an hour? We haven't seen 2,000 birds. No, we have not. I mean, I think it just, there's not much sense in trying to make the, something work something that's just not working. Yeah, I'll give it 20 more minutes. And if they keep on doing the same thing, we'll move. Max is waving a goose flag. The flag imitates a landing goose or a goose already on the ground stretching its wings. It works especially well for attracting the attention of distant flocks. Okay, I I think I think we gotta go. Yeah. Just be careful when you flap the flag. Done with birds too close, it only gives away your position. A goose should only see you flapping in its periphery. Yeah, shoot that one up top. Never mind, I got him. 
Yeah, you got the right bird, Yanni? I got the left. Get him, Yannis. Oh, come on, Yanni. It's working out a little bit better. Yeah, big decoy. Oh, yeah. You want me to shoot him? I got him. Heads up. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Did you get it? I got it on Max. Dude, that thing full on hit me, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dude, Chris. It did hit you? Yeah, it landed right on my arm. Yeah, you're lucky they hit you in the head. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah, shoot that right one. Shoot him. There it is. Ruby. Thanks, Josh. I'm fine with packing her up. Well, I don't want it to get in the way of our... Because we need a plan for the morning, right? Yeah, we definitely do. I think we should get out of here, go grab some grub, and then hit the road scouting. Uh, we'll check this field again. There's a field uh, right to the north that I want to check out, which I'll probably send you there because there's ducks in it, and I know you want to get some ducks. What do we shoot, eight geese? Yeah. yeah. Not bad. The adjustment in location makes all the difference, and we quit at four birds apiece. Max is especially excited for tomorrow since the field he's taking me to had quite a few mallards in it. We're leaving now so that we have time to scout the field one more time to make sure the birds are still using it. tumbleweed them and then maybe put some corn out there to break up our outline and go sit in the middle. The middle is how far from here? Uh, probably, I, I wouldn't say middle middle, but I would say out there. Like, Not on the edge? Yeah, I would say either sit on the edge, risk bird short stopping you, or go a little bit closer to them. In. Uh, but either way, I think we should take the snow covers off. Especially if we go out there. Because this little edge does give us some cover. Yeah, it gives us more cover than... Gives us more cover than out there, I would say. Ooh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one, Max. It's all up to you. Like we were saying yesterday, do you want to put a little more work in for a little more reward? Yeah, I, I do. Okay. And really, if it's gonna, I think it's gonna come down to it. I think, yeah, I would rather go in there. Yeah, and it's way colder than it was yesterday, so I think we got some time for till the so birds start flying. Fly. Yeah, geese are gonna be trading water all morning though. I don't think they're gonna feed till nine at least. Nine, ten. So we got some time. On a typical duck hunt, the action can be hot right at first light. But oftentimes a goose hunter might not even load their gun until 9 a.m., hours after the sun has risen. Anthropomorphically speaking, geese are lazy. They like to fly and feed when the weather suits them. Early in the season, they will feed more in the early mornings and late afternoons when it's cooler out. Late in the season, like now, they wait on the roost to conserve energy and feed late in the morning taking advantage of the warmest part of the day. What do you think, Max? I think that'll kill duck. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it's just like like yesterday. Yeah. You're like fully mouth in it. Yeah. Just act like well, you're Well, not quite like that. No. But just Act like you're drinking a bottle of Coke, like. Just, little baby sip. Yeah, little baby sip. <laughs> you getting there? Just. <laughs> you just need a little more practice, is that? <laughs> Why this field? Why this field? Actually, I found it my first night here. Right. There's a bunch of birds in it. Um, and 
I, I couldn't even put a number on how many birds were here. We are set up here just because we don't want the birds to shortstop us necessarily. Because our other option was sitting on the fence, right? Yeah. And we sat on the fence yesterday. Just change it up. And I feel like the birds want to be... The birds feel safe in the middle. Yeah. The birds feel safe. And, I mean, we don't have a bad hide here. No. With this tumbleweed. No. Little corn on top. Yeah. And I think it's... A bird is more willing to decoy in the center of the field than on the fence line. Yeah. What time is it? It's almost 11. Yeah, they are taking their sweet time today. Yeah. These cold, clear days, they have nothing to worry about. They know the corn's not going anywhere. But I'm, I'm excited when they flip the switch and actually put their minds to feeding. Yeah, because not only did we see a thousand some geese in here, but we saw Lots of ducks. Lots of ducks. Yeah. Have, have you ever shot a dry field mallard? Never. Never. That's going to be cool if we get a couple of mallards for you, though. Oh, I love eating those suckers. Okay, <laughs> Yanni, this guy's coming right on your side. Ruby. You ready, honey? Yep. Shoot him. That was it that came in, right? Yeah. Yeah. Three in, nothing left. <laughs> you want me to take him? I got him. <laughs> Ruby. Good girl. <laughs> you got to kill that one, yep. Good shot. I'll get him. Ruby. Nice shooting. <laughs> yes. There it is, good girl. <laughs> Look at this. Look at it. <laughs> Holding the wrong implement. Dude, he's coming back. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Kill that goose, Yanni. One more. Nope, heads up. Ruby. <laughs> Good job, Ruby. She wants more. Yeah. Right here on your left, on your left side, Yanni. <laughs> yep. All right, now he's in front of you. Pull up and shoot him. Shoot him, Yanni. Oh. oh. He's got to be injured. Yeah, he might have a heart attack. I don't even think you got him, to be honest with you. I think you that was a clean miss all three times. Ah. Ruby! We got one here on the left. Ah. All right, Yanni, shoot him. Shoot him, Yanni. Good, Ruby! Yeah, that's, that's it for geese now. Yeah. Should we hunt ducks? Should we? Yeah. I think so. Hunting ducks now. <laughs> Here comes a ducky on us. Duck. Two ducks. Just trying to take a piss, man. Shoot that drake, yep. Nice shot. Hey, it's our first dry field mallard. Pretty guy. Yeah. But I don't think he's that northern Canada late season mallard. He's just not that big. Yeah, he's not that big. And then his feet aren't that vibrant. Right. They're, they're just kind of dull. I'm going to eat him. Yeah. <laughs> both hands, both hands, 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 hands. I typically don't shoot hens, but it's like, would I rather shoot a hen than get skunked? I would shoot a hen. It's a drake too, Yanni. Huh? It's a drake. Shoot him. Good. You're shooting a lot better on ducks than you did geese. Good spot on that. Well, thanks and good call on the drake because I was looking and looking and I Kennel. could not tell if it was a drake. I, I just heard him oh, buzzing. Right. You know, like this sound like I heard that too. Okay, next, next drake is mine though. Okay. 
You've had your fair share. <laughs> it's a hen, but if you want to shoot it. No, that's a drake. He's he's on the ground. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Ruby. Good shot. Oh, sorry, I was supposed to let you shoot that. I forgot. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Maybe that's just what the ducks are doing. Is it's like, they're just waiting. It's three, three o'clock right now. Well, let's get it till 3.30. 3.30 and then pack up? Yeah. Unless we just say, screw it and just go to the spot that we hunted yesterday. Yeah, I mean, that guy's got a lot of land. Yeah. My vote would be get out of here, send you scouting, and then I'll meet you back at the house. I'm good with that. You're good with that? Yeah. Are you happy with today? Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Just like eating those Drake mallards, you know what I mean? <laughs> it might seem odd that we're contemplating leaving this field before we've killed our limit of mallards. Like I said before, it's one of my favorite meats to eat. But if we want a shot at another good hunt tomorrow, scouting takes precedence over a few more ducks. The decoys, the blinds, and our shooting ability are all part of a successful hunt but all three combined don't add up to the importance of finding the birds the day before you hunt. A bird will most likely return to the same field because they feel safe and there is food to eat, in this case, corn stubble. A bird will not return if it feels threatened, runs out of food, or if there is a drastic change in weather. To sum things up, you want to be where the birds want to be. And this is called being on the X. After an unsuccessful scout the night before, we decide to head back to the same fields from day one, but instead of hunting the corn, we hunker down on the edge of a potato field. The potatoes were holding lots of birds when we left on day one. To be honest, I will say I think this might be more of a traffic hunt. Most of the birds, too, have been using the corn. And we're in, we're in potatoes today. So you think we should have set up in corn? Or no, because this is no. the best hide we could I think this is our best hide. Is anybody's guess right now where the X is? Here. Here. Right here. There we go. Right there. That's the X. Front there. You can draw all the X's in the dirt as you want, but sometimes the birds just won't cooperate. Max thinks that maybe the two-dimensional silhouette decoys are preventing our success, so we pull a few. The debate amongst waterfowlers as to which decoys are the best and how many to use is ongoing. Two-dimensional silhouette decoys, known as silos, are great because they take up less space, and are considerably cheaper. But a silo is nowhere near as realistic as a full body decoy. Some decoy companies turn full bodies into a work of art so realistic that they'll even fool a human's eye from any distance farther than 30 yards. The full bodies also sit on a single metal stake, which allows them to move in the wind, adding realism. The downside to full body decoys is they take up a lot of space, and are quite a bit more expensive. After hours of endless calling and flyovers, we were ready to call it quits. I don't know if the potatoes thawed out or if the geese's bellies started to rumble, but whatever it was, the feed switch was flipped and the gun barrels heated up. Something changed. <laughs> I can't believe it. 
We were getting so just, uh, I don't know, what's the, what's the polite way of saying just um, denied? They're giving us the feather. Yeah. How about that? Us the feather. There you go. But yeah, it seemed like noon hit and they actually like wanted to respond to the call. Yeah. It would have been so easy to leave two hours ago because it just was not. Well, I told you, I was like, yeah, we're hunting till noon and that's it. Yeah. Well, thanks for showing me a good time. That yeah. was super fun. Yeah, I know Ruby and I had fun, so I hope yeah. you did too. Yeah, you want to cook a few up? I think we process most of our birds from today and save a few and do a little chicken fried steak. For chicken fried goose, cut the breasts across the grain about 3 eighths of an inch thick and season with any all-purpose seasoning or just salt and pepper. Meat eaters know them on the range is great for this. Coat the pieces in flour and lay them in a quarter inch of hot oil. A minute per side is all you need. As with most wild game, overcooked goose is not good. To make the gravy, add about three tablespoons of fat to the pan. I'm using leftover bacon grease. Stir in three tablespoons of flour and cook for a couple minutes. Then add two cups of milk and continue stirring. The gravy will thicken as the temperature comes up. Finish by adding salt and pepper or all-purpose seasoning to taste. It doesn't taste like my grandma's, I'll tell you that. Hers is better? Way better. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that at all. Mm -hmm. It's just nothing but greatness. Oh. And I don't even want to compare it to like another meat. No, it's not gamey at all. Extremely mild. Oh. Nice work. Yeah, you too. On the calling. It's hard work. I don't know how anybody could throw that away. A lot of folks do. Or, or turn it into jerky. Mm. This is way better than jerky. Yeah, nothing wrong with jerky, but that's delicious. Yeah. Here, Rip. Come on.